question, what is the maximum number of days as a traveler that he can stay in a given city continuously and be exempted from his fast? For instance, he goes on to say, um, if he's a student, he's giving the game away here, if he's a student and he's traveled abroad for two months, is he exempted from his fast in Ramadan? Most of the scholars, what they say, that what is the ruling for Salah? When a person travels, as Hadith echoed earlier, that our beloved Prophet Muhammad said, mentioned in the Sunan ibn Majah, Hadith number 1667, that our beloved Prophet says that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has exempted a person from fasting and half of these prayers when he's traveling and exempted a woman from fasting when she's pregnant, etc. So the ruling what is there for Salah as a traveler, it is the same as for a person who's fasting. And most of the fuqahs, most of the scholars, though the difference of opinion, but as for Salah, they say that maximum person can stay in a city in one place after he has left his own hometown is for four days. So most of the scholars, they agree that same thing is for fasting, that maximum they can stay in a city and can be considered as a traveler is for four days. If they extend, then they will not be considered as a traveler. Though there's a difference of opinion in different schools of thought, but the majority consider this. Coming to the second part of the question, that if a person goes for studies and stays in a foreign land, maybe for two months or three months or several months together, will he be considered as a traveler? No, in this condition, he's staying for a long time, for months together. As far as fasting is concerned, he will have to fast all the obligatory fast of the month of Ramadan. Next question, if a fasting person, he's been fasting the whole day, decides to travel in the afternoon, he starts his travel in the afternoon, is it compulsory on him to break his fast or is it optional? What is the best solution for him? If a person starts the travel midday or in the afternoon, and if he's in the hometown till afternoon, it becomes fourth for him to keep the fast at least at that time. Only time a traveler is permitted to break the fast is when he leaves the hometown. If he decides that he's going to leave in the afternoon, it's not possible that he does not fast in the morning. He has to fast in the morning because there can be change of plans. If he decides in the afternoon, he may change his plan. So then it will be a sin on him. So if a person is traveling, the only time he can break the fast is when he leaves the city limits. Until he hasn't left, he should not break. So if he leaves the city limits, in the afternoon, he is permitted to break, not that he should break. But if he feels there's no hardship, he can continue fasting and complete his fast. It's optional on him. Okay, excellent. Next question is from one of our viewers who's a pilot, and he considers himself to be in a perpetual state of travel. <laughs> Every day he's traveling on the plane, um, long distances. And um, he's asking, is he exempted, therefore, from all fasts? If a person's profession is such that he's a pilot or if he's a sailor and he has to travel and if he leaves his hometown and if he's gone away, so but naturally he's considered as a traveler. He's exempted from fasting, but he has to make up his fast before the next of Ramadan. So if he travels a lot, then he'll have to fast in the holidays, mm -hmm. whatever holidays he gets. And when he's stationed in hometown, so if he does not want to fast, he's exempted because he's considered as a traveler, but he'll have to make up the fast as soon as possible before the next Ramadan. Unless he's traveling on a very long flight, maybe from India to New York, which is more than 12 hours. But if the, if the flight is a short flight, I don't think so there'll be problem.